Breaking wall, master. You almost got me. Ah! What's up, everyone? This is all destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Now, last time, we got us the Fire Rod. And we've further progressed our way through the third dungeon. In this episode, well, third dungeon of Dark World, at any rate. In this episode, we are hopefully going to finish off this dungeon and get going on with the game. Let's see. Okay, well, not quite what I anticipated because the freaking enemies are freaking everywhere. Freaking Moldworm. I will get you, Gibdo. Oh, hey, there's another key. Is there any way to even go back? I guess not. I mean, I still have that one key from before. Oh. Oh, jeez, no! Alright, well, I made it back here. I'm kind of wondering just what to do, though. What does the map say that I can do? The map says this is a dead end. Can't be right. What if I try falling down here? Oh, hi! Okay, I'm fighting a moth. Ah. Oh, dear. This is a little bit problematic. Okay, I'm starting to get him. These conveyor belts do make things a bit more problematic. I'm guessing the fire rod's its weakness. I'm also almost dead, and I, wow, I actually don't have any red potion. Well, I'm screwed. This is going to be really Ricky! Ah! Well, it was worth a shot. Still, how am I going to get... <sighs> well, looks like I'm going back to get some fairies and red potion. I'm not gonna do what I did with the last boss. And freaking try so many times. This time, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna get me a fairy, red potion, and I'll be right back. Okay, take two. Very least I've got sword beams on me. So I've s ah, freaking can't jump. Okay, and even from the side with the fire rod, not the greatest idea. I also, man, I'm doing bad. I also up didn't man. I didn't manage to get a red potion, but I. Do you have two fairies on me? Uh, so I'll be able to go down twice. Ah, damn conveyor belts. And there's just so much that I have to worry about all at the same time. Oh, well, there goes the last of my fire. There goes the last of my magic. Get back here! I'll just tank it! I can... As long as it... Yes! As long as it means that I can kill you! Ha <laughs> ha! Give me my heart container... And crystal! Ha 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 ha! Man! That was a tough fight! Just because... So much going on! Ah... Uh, so much! But by defeating the giant moth, we've rescued our third maiden. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear. And he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. 
If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights of Hyrule, who protected the royalty of Hylia, can become the hero. You're of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. Do you understand? Yep, only we can save Zelda. That's kind of why we're on this quest. I understand fully. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Alright, and with that, we finished up the third dungeon. I still- Ah, freaking things! Making me lose my sword beams yet again! Yeah! I still don't understand how I get to that one room. Because there was a locked room, and there didn't seem to be any way to get to it. Oh, well, maybe there'll be something later on. Maybe it's something I'm missing. Maybe it was just some bonus things with some hearts and fairies. I don't know. Quite honestly, I don't care. We managed to beat our way through this dungeon. And I'm willing to... I just want to get out of here and get on to the fourth dungeon. We've still got three maidens that we have. Well, three? No, we have four maidens left to sit. Oh, hey, the way's open. Where did this lead to? Ah! Okay. okay, well, it's a room. Oh, jeez! Okay, so, wow, it actually dropped me off here. So, it is just a room full of goodies that suddenly appears when I beat the dungeon. Okay. And then, of course, the w the room is perilous once you walk in. But if you don't mind perilous dangers, then... Uh, and I just went in a big circle, didn't I? don't mind perilous dangers, then that room is for you. <laughs> I honestly don't care. I just want to get out of here. Oh, god dang it. I went the wrong way. Okay, but I can't think of what I could potentially do now that I have the fire rod. I mean, is there anything- Ah, freaking thing! Okay, well, actually, what is our next destination? Where's the fourth dungeon is in... Village of Outcasts. Okay, well, I guess that's our next destination then. Oh, come on! How did I not hit you? Freaking thing. Okay, so the Village of Outcasts it is. If that's our next destination, if that's where the next Maiden is, then that's where we need to go. This usually has fairies in it. Yes! Oh man, I didn't want to get both of them. Man. Oh well, whatever. If I can get rid of you, avoid getting hit by you, enter through the building and leave. Should respawn you guys and should also respawn the fairies. Hey, hey, get back here. There we are. I need fairies. I die way too often in this game. Okay, so we need the next dungeon is somewhere here. No, 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 get away from me. Perhaps this thing. Ah! Was that it? That was it! <laughs> wow, that was easy! I didn't even need the fire rod or anything. Okay, well, there's some chew jellies that are appearing out of the ground. I can jump down and get this chest, which contains the map. That was easy. I can get these. Dragon looking night guys. I don't know what exactly they are, but oh well. Making our way through the fourth dungeon already. Okay, so we have a few ways that we can go. Maybe not. Maybe so. I have way too much money on my hands. Okay, so I can't jump down there. And if anything, I'm going to need to... No, apparently there's either more enemies... 
Or maybe that's just not the way that I need to go. I will kill you from afar! Oh, they apparently don't take much hit from a direct attack from the sword swing. Oh, hey, bombable spot. Oh. You know, this seems really easy compared to all the other Dark World dungeons up to this point. There's a crack right here. Although there's no circle, so I'm not sure. No, that is a bombable spot, okay. Money and money. Okay, so that was meaningless. Well, there was a spot that had a keyhole. And this just dead ends. Oh, wait, no, 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 I can go down here. Can I jump? Yes, I can. Ah! I'm a bunny again. Can you maybe not shoot fire at me? That'd be great. Seriously, stop. You're getting annoying. Okay, and up here we have... Heart. A uh, door that requires the big key. Somehow I killed two chews with one skull. I don't know how that happened, but it did. I'm not complaining. Ah! Ah, I got hit. Okay, well, I don't think I supposed to be here just yet okay ah if that's the case freaking thing wow yeah they actually don't deal that much damage to me that's weird Stalfos. and more shoes okay see so not that I'm complaining, but ah, how did how did that not hit me? Oh man, more of these freaking things! Oh oh boy, money, because that's exactly what I needed. Is there anything else of worth in here? Survey says no. However, I should be able to get down to the original room from here if I just head down and from here there should be a way to go across not that way hmm and now I'm back in the beginning fantastic okay no but wait perhaps no cuz there's some sort of lock. There's some sort of lock that's preventing that door from opening. And there's no other way for me to go onwards. You know, there's apparently two ways to go on, but I'm willing to bet one is the door and the other is down there. What are these things? Though. Can I maybe hit him with a hammer? No. Okay, so if I can hit him with the magic hammer, then where do I go from here? I'm kind of lost. Okay, that thing just wants to turn me into a bunny. Bunny buddy Nidoran. Ah! I don't want to become a bunny. I want to be Link. Okay, and this way leads to... Hmm. Ah, ah, no, 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 ow. Okay, well, at least getting hit snapped me out from being a bunny. But is there any... Yeah, the only thing that I can see is that there is a keyhole right there. Well, this is for the big key. If you had the big key, you might be able to open it. But I don't even know... I don't even know where a regular key is. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go from here. Okay, well, apparently not that way. Nope, you're not gonna shoot fire at me! Oh, wait a minute, I'm just going around and... I'm just going around in circles? Wait a minute. Aha! I entered this room! 
Okay, so I may know what I'm doing. That was dangerously close. Give me my heart, give me my heart, thank you. I mean, these guys are freaking easy. Wait a minute, I can get the chest that's down here. Ha ha! Chest contains... The big key! Awesome! Now I can actually move on. Since I kind of want to explore this area a little bit more. God dang it! Get me up from bunny, get me up from bunny form. I can't do jack squat while I'm a bunny. There we are. All right, and this way leads to... Hmm. No, wait, there's a chest up here. There's a chest which contains the compass! Wow, I've actually got all three main... Wow, all I need is the item of the dungeon, and then I can potentially face the boss now. Is this a short dungeon or something? Because I've just kind of been casually exploring this. And I feel like I'm very close to being at the end of it already. Oh, jeez. Jump down here. And go in through this way. Oh, come on. Freaking Stalfos. Oh, whatever. Why do I never learn from my mistakes? Okay, so the big key sh door should be here. Get away from me. These things have to hit a wall. Kind of risky when there's no walls nearby. Okay, so there's a key spot and more Stalfos. Aha! Okay, red Stalfos missed. There we are. Okay, so there's only one way. Oh, nope, now there's two ways that I can go. All right, well, now we still got a little bit of time left. This way is the one area that I saw earlier. Okay. More bombs. Okay, the fact that they're giving me a lot of bombs suggests that I'm probably gonna want bombs. What the crap? What the crap? What the crap are those? Seriously, what the heck are those things? I don't know, but I'm getting the crap out of here. Oh, goodness gracious, there's more. And there's switches. Ah, oh, freaking anti fairies and those things that I can. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey. Um. Ow. Okay, well, what's in through here? First floor. With some sort of insect thing. Wait a minute, is that something from Sarashala? Ah! Perhaps? Okay, but I need something to go on that. What if I pull this? Oh, not what I wanted to do. Um... What are those? They're not... What the heck are these things? There's no way that they're... Are they ropes? I thought I faced them earlier. They act like ropes. Give me a lots of hearts. Wait, what? Oh. That's definitely something from Sarashala. I'm gonna go ahead and bomb this. No, it won't really accomplish me much. I said I'm gonna bomb this even though it won't accomplish me much. Okay, fine then, game. Have it your way. Ow! Freaking insect thing? Seriously, what's with the cracks in the ground? Oh well, whatever. None of my concern. Ow! Freaking... Freaking things! And this contains a lot more bombs. Okay, I wonder what I have to do. Ow. Maybe it would help if I was further back. There we are. Awesome. Now, how do I get over there? Hmm. I don't see any way of progressing on at this point.
Okay, what if I just placed it there? Maybe in the center more. Weird, why is it that certain bombs can... Certain places I can blow it up with bombs and others I can't. That's just not even close. Okay, maybe if I talk to Sarashila, maybe he'll give me some advice. And right after I do that, I really should end things off. Ow. Okay, Sarashila. Freaking thing. Oh no, this is Zelda this time. Link, it's me, Zelda. Don't be deceived by the magic of the blind thief. Be careful. Wait, what? Magic of the blind thief? Um... I'm not quite sure I understand what you're getting at, Zelda. I mean, these things are... If I need to kill these things, and if they give me more hearts... That would be lovely. Well, one. Okay, one. And I do need to hit that switch. God dang it. Okay, well, I've tried looking around a little bit. Zelda didn't really help me much. But, if I'm looking at this correctly, then falling from here will take me to the boss. So, I need to get over that barrier, which means I need to somehow be able to jump over it. Huh, maybe I'll get like the rock's feather or something like that. But I guess that will do it for this episode. So next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. We will continue going through the fourth dungeon. We've already made significant progress here. But we're going to continue to make our way through it. Hopefully get find the item. And with any luck, we should be able to get to the boss. If this is indeed... How we get to the boss if not then we've then that makes me sad makes me a sad link so until next time everyone take care